Tiny community on the Utah-Nevada border is fighting for the right to be silly or to make art, depending on which roadside attractions you might happen to see. As science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst reports, it's a drama or a comedy playing out in an obscure part of the Great Basin. If you like lonely roads, original art, and bad puns, yeah, bad puns that were delightful. Pretty much the middle of nowhere. Well, whoa already. Stop for a moment of art appreciation. Okay. Just outside Great Basin National Park, welcome to the Great Basin. A great with a basin. You probably picked up on that one. I get this one. In the shadow of Wheeler Peak. Get it? Wheel-er Peak. Anywhere but here, you'd never find a guy made out of a toaster oven or a cowboy named Bob Wire or, you guessed it, a cowgirl named Barb Wire. All of which, they say, reflects the small but eclectic population in the mostly uninhabited spaces around Baker, Nevada. Kind of a bit of defiant spirit with um, some humor and quirkiness to it. A lot of this stuff is right on the fence posts, so some local art historian or probably a comedian labeled it post-impressionist art. It all started with gloves. 20 years ago, a guy named Doc Sherman put up some gloves on fence posts. And they were all along the fence post, and he called it the Permanent Wave Society. Then other folks added their own art, their own humor, their own beats me inscrutable mystery tree are i don't know a rusty old wreck is driven by the horse with no name open to any interpretation it's a nice way of describing life out here on the prairie <laughs> over the years the art got fancier bigger in some cases closer to the road there have been some very sophisticated art pieces in more recent years <laughs> Bill Roundtree's masterpiece might be this, a rocket ship made from three brooms and an old Electrolux vacuum. Because space is a vacuum. He never put his spacey vacuum alongside the road, and maybe that's a good thing, because last fall, a lot of the roadside art suddenly went away. This is um, Pegasus, which was taken down by the state. That's right, the Nevada Department of Transportation. NDOT now has Pegasus and other art rounded up behind security fences. It just seems kind of silly that, you know, somebody just came along with a dump truck and a lot of it was destroyed. It's not that bureaucrats hate art or have no sense of humor. NDOT was concerned about safety with a growing sculpture garden and a state highway right-of-way. I can see some people's point that it might be a danger and people were stopping at the wrong spot. But the people of Baker are willing to work with MDOT to come to some kind of compromise. Maybe a special area for sculptures with designated parking, maybe even a permit system for roadworthy art. Who's to say what's good and what's bad? What's good to me is not good to you. The pine in our bucket. Indeed. I don't know, beats me. Some of that art is hard to figure. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Baker, Nevada. All right.